Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Angular. Today we are going to learn about the routing in Angular 19. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So routing in the Angular 19 is a fundamental concept that allows you to navigate between the different parts of your application. It's a crucial part of building the single page applications in the Angular, enabling seamless user experience. Let's have a look of that one. So if I go to the code, so here you can see that we have already app config.ts file where we have already imports the app routes. Okay. And here you can see that we have already provider for routes. And if I go just click on that one here, you can see that the error of the routes is empty. So here we can define the routes for the navigation, right? So let's take an example from the documentation so first let's generate the first component and the second one let's go to the terminal and let's generate this first component and let's generate the second one okay so let's generate any component about anything you can generate okay so the component is generated here you can see that first component and the second one it's generated okay let's go to the next step so this guide works CLI generated the angular application so it generates the components now we have to import the component with the help of this first component and the second component in the app routes.ts let's import this so we have to import this component first and the second okay so whatever component you want to make you can make and then import like this okay and after this defining a basic routing three are these are the three fundamental building blocks to creating a route. Import the routes into app config.ts, then add it to the provider router function and the following application, default application.config using the CLI. Next, we have set up the routes array of routes. So here you can see that it's by default it's empty. Define your routes in the routes array. So here we have to define the routes. Okay, the first component and the second component. Okay, so let's define it. So here we have to define the routes like this. Okay. So whatever routes we have first component and the second component. Okay. Now the next, next step we have, this is done. Add routes to your application. Okay. So we have to add the routes to the application. So I'm going to add it to the main one. Okay. With the help of the router outlet in the app component.ts. Here you can see, I'm going to add this. Right, so router outlet is not defined. So in the in here, I need to define the router outlet. Okay, so import router outlet. Okay, and this we need to import here. Okay, so this is added. Let's run and just serve what will happen. Okay, so it says that cannot get, okay, because we haven't added the main route right now and we have the first component, I suppose. If I go and check, here we have the routes, that is first one. Okay, and if I go and just add, here you can see that the first component, Angular Router app, is first component is here first component and the second component if i go with the second one second component works okay so this is how the routing works right if i'm not adding the router template over here so the routing will not work okay the router views rendered in the router outlet right if i go and just check right now let's reload so here, here you can see that the second route is second one second component is not there because in the second component what we have added the second one here you can see that so it's second box but currently it's you can see that it's not there so the router template is very very important for that one so in the html we have to define that one router outlet okay now you can see that second works and if i go with the first one first works okay so if you are thinking like your routes are not working make sure you have to import the router 
outlet okay so this is done so now we are able to navigate to the pages okay so we have to import the router outlet you also need to add the router link router link active router outlet to the imports array of the app component okay so here we have the router so let's me go and uh, you want to set the wildcard route you can add the code to your routes definitions okay so wildcard we will discuss later on right so currently we are able to navigate from the pages from one to another one okay and the next video we are going to define it more with adding more components and navigate from one page to another one okay so now i think you are clear on that how we can define the routes and how we can add the components and route it from one location to another one any doubt any query do let me in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video